my people my people welcome again to another one of my videos it's your boy spiritual child and i'm here today with a very interesting topic a topic that is affecting a lot of persons the topic is spiritual blockages are you black are you not prospering in life are you stagnant are you stagnant with your money are you stagnant at your job are you stagnant in getting a job all these and more will be explained spiritual blockages are spiritual blockages real how can someone block you spiritually what are the the benefits of spiritual blockages what are the disadvantages of spiritual blockages spiritual blockage is very real and it takes the form from as low as somebody using their mouth or their mind to put a curse on you or x to an eye of somebody visiting a witch doctor to use spirits which may be graveyard spirits to use demons which may be here on earth or in the heavenly realm which is in the the sky no spiritual blockages is very very real and most people are experiencing it right now in their daily lives because as i was saying before many people and many persons cannot get a job many persons cannot get a visa many persons cannot get a promotion many persons cannot get a woman many persons cannot have money or they will have money but something happened for them to lose it or to spend the money this and more is all are all spiritual blockages in the highest form or in the lowest form and how you can know that you're spiritually black is if you visit a witch doctor who will ascertain the situation and explain in details why he or she thinks you are spiritually black no spiritual blockages in the simplest form where someone speaks a, a x which is h e x or a curse upon your life for example you're not come out to nothing good you're not getting a promotion before me you're something like that girl eh? you're something like that boy eh? Mushim dead, eh? see? all these are spiritual curses which in turn turn into spiritual blockages if the intention of the person speaking towards the other person is very strong and spiritual and as i always say in my other videos that the, the power of any spell or the power of any curse is in the intention so if i look at you and say Moshe dead tomorrow it might just happen based on my intention and based on my strength spiritually if i look at you and say you're not getting a promotion tomorrow before me that can be considered as a spiritual curse or a spiritual blockage because my intention was very clear i said it out and i put it into the atmosphere for the spirits to carry out the command no spiritual blockages whether in the lowest or the highest form um is executed by spirits or demons listening to the command so if a witch doctor tells a person that i'm going to kill you tomorrow there's always spirits in the heavenly or earthly bone or realm listening for commands as in the bible the bible stated that the, the, the devil or the spirits are roaming the earth looking for persons to devour so basically witchcraft up your blockage curse 
are executed first by the executor which is the witchcraft doctor or the witch doctor or whoever um, doing the, the deeds in the human form that's the first person who carry out the, the, the first execution then the executor in the second form or realm is the spirit or the power behind the scenes spiritually or physically carrying out the, the command to do whatever the wish of the witch doctor so if the witch doctor say more you kill like you tomorrow spirits are listening demons are listening entities are listening for commands to carry it out the universe is listening for a command to carry out the intention or the work of the person creating the blockage so that so if the intention of the witch doctor or the person bad minding that person or which are the person which wishing to arm that person is very strong spiritually and physically that person may cause harm or might cause harm to the the victim or the person receiving the blow or the blockage now there are many spirits involved in a spiritual curse or a spiritual blockage and it depends on the level and the power of the person carrying it out for me if I intend to curse or block somebody spiritually, it would take the form of a demon because demons are very high in rank, both spiritually and in the, and in the the heavenly realm, also in the earthly realm. So I would definitely use a demon or an angel to carry out my blockage or curse onto somebody. Now, a blockage. is very strong upon someone or a person when he or she tries very hard to succeed in life and in whatever endeavor that person is about or is trying to achieve but there's not there's no solution there's no there's no progress there's no there's no help no cure, no cure all that person tries he or she cannot receive any help because the entities behind the scene working is, is also working very hard to ensure that that person does not strive to ensure that that person does not does not progress or to ensure that that person is not progressive in life so you are you, you are working very hard to, to, to succeed while the entity that was assigned to you is working very hard to make sure that you don't come out to anything good that you don't make it in life so spiritual blockage in that form is very strong and one of the basic um main form of spiritual blockage is with your money and with your 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 relationship because you can you can be working a lot of a lot of money monthly or weekly yet still when you get the money things always come up for you to spend the money when you get the money you waste it you don't know what to do with it so you will work enough money today and tomorrow you're broke you're begging you're borrowing debt debt is all over you um people creditors looking for your police looking for you you're wrapping your steel in the teeth in this is all form of spiritual blockages because the the person who curse you or the person who put the spell on you doesn't want you to succeed so that person assign a demon or a spirit to your life to destroy you to ensure that even if you work money you cannot put it to any good use that is spiritual blockage spiritual blockage in your relationship now this is another critical area our relationship your relationship because many persons struggles with their spouse with their wife with their girlfriend with their common law wife because of what spiritual blockages 
Spiritual blockages may take the form of a spirit husband or a spirit wife place in your life. If a, if a spirit girlfriend or boyfriend is placed in a relationship, whether to the female or to the, to the male, there will be problems. So if the spirit, if a spiritual blockage is in the relationship, the spellcaster or the person doing the ex or the curse will place a spirit spouse in the relationship. And whenever that spirit spouse or spirit or dope is placed in the relationship, havoc will start to take place. So there will be no more romantic feelings for each other. The persons will start to argue a lot. They will start to fight. They will start to hurt each other mentally, physically, emotionally. They will start to cheat on each other. And especially the cheating part is the main part here. Because the spirit spouse that was placed in the, in the relationship will ensure that, they, they, that either partner doesn't have any feeling anymore for each other and even if feeling comes up something happens to destroy the feeling some argument some fight some some quarrel some feelings will happen to destroy the attraction for each other and this is all due to the blockage by the spirit spouse or the spirit wife or husband that was placed in the relationship to destroy the relationship now, spiritual blockage in the workplace is very important also and is a very important topic because many persons are working in a workplace for so long and up to now they cannot get a promotion, they cannot get a raise of pay. Other persons come after them and get promotion before them. This is all due to spiritual blockages. Spiritual blockages is very real in the workplace. And it is done mainly by your friends, not your enemies, your friends, because your friends are very jealous of you. And one of the main reasons for spiritual blockage or curse is jealousy. Jealousy, envy, and bad mind is the main topic and point to curse or to block someone spiritually. So if you are at a workplace and you cannot receive a promotion, you cannot get a raise of pay, you cannot... You cannot do what you cannot do what you want to do with the money that you have received each time you work. There is a spiritual blockage in your life and it needs clearance. Spiritual blockages with your visa. If you try so many times and you cannot receive a visa, there is a spiritual blockage in your life. If you have the required documents and you cannot receive the visa, there is a spiritual blockage in your life that needs clearance. So, you have to get the required clearance to free up yourself. No, spiritual blockage, as I said, is very simple and basic. It, it, it takes the form of simpleness from somebody using their mouth or their mind to block you up to the highest of somebody going to a witch doctor to use a demon with an earthly bone or heavenly bone to ensure that you cannot prosper in life so this demon will work tirelessly to ensure that nothing good happen in your life and this is blockage now how to clear our self spiritual blockage Spiritual blockage is not simple to solve and it's not hard to solve either. To solve a spiritual blockage, you can either visit somebody like me who is a witch doctor, a professional, or you can try and help yourself by buying and using certain things or trying to find God. So if you can find God for yourself and having faith in God strong enough to Get rid of the spirits that are blocking you. You can relieve yourself or if you are not strong enough physically and spiritually, you can find a witch doctor like me to, to get rid of the curse from your life and prevent the spiritual blockage from, from entering your life again. 
and one of the main reasons why many persons who visit a witch doctor cannot receive or cannot be healed or cannot get any help is because the witch doctor does not know the full procedure to fix the person problem so you cannot put a cut you cannot put a a cut with a band-aid permanently and say yes somebody is fixed or somebody is healed you have to find the reason why the person received the cut in the initially why the person received the cut initially and if you find the reason why the person received the cut initially you can figure out the solution from there because you cannot come up with a, with a solution if you don't find the cause of the problem the cause of the problem must be ascertained first then you figure out the solution to the problem and after you have figured out the solution to the problem you have to fix the problem then prevent the problem from happening again so it stages to the to the deliverance everything in life is twofold and everything in life has stages so that's basically spiritual blockages for now um i'll leave this video right here don't want it to be too long so i'll explain the rest in another video it's your boy spiritual child and i'm here with another video on spiritual blockages oh by the way what you're seeing here this is a real crystal ball here this is my crystal ball my personal crystal ball that i use to do my readings this is very made of crystals um white crystals clear crystals it's what it's made of i have some rum here i have a few white candles i have um i have some wine in this bottle and i have some i have some spirits also who are here listening to my video um so boy spiritual child and i'm signing out again for today hopefully i'll make another video um tomorrow so peace out thanks for listening to my video subscribe donate if possible peace out